The, the, the other example here, and, you know, we've talked about this before, and that's the Supreme Court case on subsidies, Obamacare. The upshot of that is, it could well be, depending on the Supreme Court decision in this case, which is going to come in June, which is going to be sooner than some of you get your Apple Watches, that's how quick it's coming. I mean, this decision could essentially rip the guts out of Obamacare. The subsidies, if the court finds that the federal government cannot provide subsidies, and the law says they can't, that only the states can, well, the majority of the states do not have subsidy programs because they did not sign on to Obamacare. That's why the government moved in to set up their own subsidies at healthcare.gov. That's unconstitutional because it's not in the law. If the court finds that that's actually what happened here, that the government, Obama, broke their own law, that's without subsidies, money, this bill can't survive because people can't afford what the new cost is. They can't afford it now even with the subsidies in half the cases. So then, as we head to the break, here's where we are. Let's imagine that the court just rips the guts out of Obamacare, but it's an entitlement now, and it's been enforced for some years, and there are some people getting subsidies that would then lose them. Does the Republican Party want to be seen as the entity taking all of that away from people? Not the court, not Obama, but the Republican Party. And so there are numerous stories out there today how the party, the Republican Party, is planning its own substitute Obamacare that is obamacare light. That'll provide, that'll reinstitute the subsidies that the Supreme Court wipes out. It's bad. For it. Just, it's really... Okay, trying to make the complex understandable. Here it is in a nutshell. If the Supreme Court functionally repeals Obamacare, it means all of the states where people are getting subsidies in the federal government are going to have their subsidies eliminated. They will have been declared illegal. That's a majority of people now getting subsidies who, if the court rules against the regime, they're minus their subsidies. So the Republicans think that they have got to act immediately to replace them. So the court is going to rip the guts out of Obamacare, and the Republicans think for their own political future and viability, they've got to reinstitute subsidies of some form or another, rather than take it as an opportunity To repeal the whole bill, which they've all said one way or another in a campaign they intended to do. They are fashioning legislation that would reinstitute subsidies that would get Obama's vote, not a veto. Here's Reuters. Some experts see bipartisan potential and key elements of what Republicans like Orrin Hatch and Paul Ryan have discussed to date. The refundable tax credits in both of their plans would be available to those who pay little or no tax similar to the Obamacare subsidies for low-income Americans. Now, Reuters says that one difference is that the Republicans would allow the tax credits to be used to buy insurance in the private market, which is an approach they say will help drive down costs, insurance costs, And give consumers more options, because under Obamacare, the credits can be obtained only through the state or federal online exchange. Or in Hatch, hey, it's it's, it's not going to be like Obamacare, in my opinion. It's not a literal subsidy. It's a recognition they should have this credit. They're going to get the money. The money is going to be wiped out because the bill is going to, if the court rules this way. And the Republicans are, we've talked about this, folks. We've talked about it. The Republicans, they, they, they lose by winning in many of their minds because they're, they then become the party of blame when people in states getting subsidies from the federal government have them taken away. A chance to totally repeal a bill and start over and fix this looks like it might be punted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.